Cameroon's Grammy Award winner, Wes Madiko, is no more. Wes Madiko died on June 25, 2021. Melogious TV. TV. Information, entertainment, analysis, and gossips. Be careful. We are everywhere. <laughs> Melogious TV. <laughs> Subscribe now on YouTube. And get the vibes. He was born on January 15, 1964. For the yeah, West Madiko was the king of world music. He was a Cameroon Cameroonian Grammy Award winner and three times winner of World Music Award. West Madiko was born in a small Bantu village about five kilometers from Douala, Cameroon, called Muataba. He was a Grammy Award winner and three times winner of the World Music Award. Diamond Record in France, 1997. Diamond Record in Germany, 1998. Many gold records, platinum, double platinum, and triple platinum in many European countries. So these are some of the things you need to know about Wes Madiko. And I'm still going to get deep into some of the biography of Wes Madiko. For you guys to understand the great loss, why Cameroonians are actually crying, why we are really feeling this pain of his sudden dismay. Yeah, Wes Maziko was born on the 15th of January in 1964. And it happens that he died on the 25th of June 2021, just at the age of 57. That makes him really too young to go so soon. Yeah, he was better known as West. In the West with his music, Yom Pendi, a song from the Lion King Part 2 soundtrack, as well as he worked with Deep Forest and his own in 1997 with the hit song Alain produced by Michel Sanchez. Now, I would like to explain a little bit to you guys how West happened to win the Grammy Award and how he met Michel. In 1992, West traveled to the US and released the album son of the ancestors during this tour he gave concerts in atlanta in georgia in this period west also met michelle sanchez of deep forest this deep forest group is based in france so with whom he performed an artistic collaboration starting work on the album welenga which means universal conscience and in 1996 West signed with the Sony Music France to release Welenga. Thus, West became one of the first stars of that group, Deep Forest, earning a Grammy Award. So for those of you who never knew there was a Cameroonian or there are Cameroonians who have won the Grammy, these are some of the details we are going to be giving to you. So Cameroon has really lost a very, very big star. This is a very big star that Cameroon has lost and we are really, really feeling bad for him. For his family, his loved one, the originality of his music. So, music brand. They wrote, I am very sad to announce the passing of Wes Madiko. We collaborated on a couple of songs. We did a world tour. I'm keeping a memory of him, laughing and jumping on stage. Stay in peace, Wes. That's a great loss. Rest in peace, Wes Madiko. Death is inevitable. When it comes knocking, there is no way you can dodge out of it. It was your time and you had to go that way. We pray your soul find rest with the Lord wherever you go. May you find peace. For those of us who are left on earth, it is left for us to make peace with our soul. So for those of you who don't know Wes Madiko, who don't know anything about him, about his music and everything, I'm going to drop the link on my description box so that you can go check it out. You can go check out some of the things he has been doing, some of the music he has been making. Melogious TV. Melogious TV. We are not going to end here for today. We are going to talk about the memorial of Emmanuel Dibango, another Cameroon's legend. So his memorial was done in France 
and we saw how Cameroon artists were performing there. One of the artists that was performing there on the Manu Dibango's memorial was Lady Pons. I'm going to drop part of the clip where they were performing in memory of him. Remember, Manu Dibango died last year, and there were a lot of spe speculations about his death, that maybe it was COVID, but his family came out to deny that he was not. it, it wasn't COVID, that he has been sick for some time. For those of you who don't know Manu Dibango, Emmanuel Dibango was a Cameroonian saxophonist, the only Cameroonian who was able to sue Michael Jackson and Rihanna for copycat. Yes, you remember that Michael Jackson song that he was singing? Oh, it's, uh, 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 uh. Nobody should come here to query me, I beg you. Oh, it's something like that, something like that, guys. Don't come here to query me. And also, Rihanna also used part of his song. But Emmanuel Dibango settled with Michael Jackson out of court. And later on, some years after, Rihanna too also stole part of his song and used it in, in one of her songs. Please don't stop the music. Uh -huh, something like that. Nobody should come here to query me. Yes, so Emmanuel Dibango was able to sue them and they settled. So that is part of Emmanuel Dibango's life. So now you can watch. I'm going to play now the video of his memorial service in France for you guys to just watch and see how it went. Just part of it. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in perfect peace. Thank you guys so much. If you have been watching up to this level, I want to say thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, I say you are welcome to my channel. I'm Melodies TV. We do a lot of gist in here, celebrity gist and trending gist around relationship and a lot more. To my returning subscribers, God bless you all so much for always coming back to support your girl. Hope I'm going to see you guys again on my next upload. Bye bye. me in the lasso on your radio. I You too money the sweet though. But you go walk so hard. Together, not in a day like on shadow. As you see, me, I they walk so hard.